not gonna fight your war. I'm gonna end it. Hey guys, Jimmy O here from Joe Blow, ready to talk about the latest from the MCU. That's right, Captain Marvel is here. Now, just about 10 years ago, movie fans were introduced to Robert Downey Jr.'s take on Iron Man. Since then, the MCU has introduced numerous characters and gathered them all together in one of the most successful film series ever imagined. And this year brings us Captain Marvel, the story of an unassuming young pilot named Carol Danvers, played by Brie Larson, who has developed superhuman strength and a number of other goodies to make her one of the most powerful superheroes alive. Directed by Anna Bowden and Ryan Fleck, the new film takes a slightly different approach when it comes to its villains and heroes. In fact, while there are a number of exciting chase sequences, the focus here really is on Carol and ultimately her relationship with those around her. This includes a military commander named Jan Rog, Jude Law, as well as her best friend, Maria Rambo, Lashana Lynch. When we first meet Carol, she is part of a team looking to take down a group of shape-shifting aliens called the Skrulls. However, when she is captured by one of them, a seemingly dangerous leader named Talos, played by Ben Mendelsohn, they attempt to gain information from her. While there, she begins to have a spark of memory of who she was before, and when she has the opportunity to escape, she finds herself on a journey to save the planet from a dangerous group of aliens as well as their accomplices. This includes a dazzling return to the 90s where Carol was just a pilot and not able to conjure incredible powers. During that time, she finds comfort in her own past relations. It also leads to a couple of very familiar and much younger looking MCU favorites. Nick Fury and Agent Coulson have never looked better. Perhaps most importantly, she reunites with her old friend Maria Rambo, another character comic book fans will be familiar with, who in turn helps her on her current mission. As far as Brie Larson is concerned, the actress is a fine choice to bring Carol Danvers' Captain Marvel to life. When we first meet her, she's already a force to be reckoned with. She works alongside an alien race called the Krees, which of course includes Jude Law as the previously mentioned Jan Rog. However, even then, Larson brings the character to a grounded and confident level, one that nearly always feels quite human and honest. Unfortunately, she doesn't always stand out when it comes to some of the action sequence, albeit the stunt team around her makes it work well enough. This is an action hero that is heavily aided by special effects and stunt work, so there is nothing radically new or exciting here. Thankfully, Miss Larson handles the more dramatic journey quite well, so ultimately it comes together. Ryan Fleck and Anna Bowden are interesting names to add to the list of directors involved in the MCU. The two come from unassuming and independent projects like Half Nelson with Ryan Gosling, the baseball drama Sugar, and the Zach Galifianakis charmer It's Kind of a Funny Story. Their focus on character and story creates an interesting, and yet not always successful, take on the popular superhero formula. While this approach works at times well enough, the first half of Captain Marvel struggles to find the right tone, and the reveal of her past feels a bit clunky. It was a different take on an origin story as they explain her backstory like a mystery waiting to be revealed. However, it is a mystery that takes a bit too long to uncover, even though it is very clear where it will ultimately lead. In fact, considering the runtime is just over two hours, which is relatively short for a recent blockbuster, the first act is kind of dull and jumbled. Carol's introduction attempts to add something unique to this particular tale, but all too often fails to really invest the viewer. However, early in the second act, we start to get a better sense of the direction they are going. When it comes to the supporting cast, there are a ton of good performances here. Clark Gregg has a bit of fun playing a young and slightly naive version of Coulson. Jude Law shares a terrific connection with Larson, and Lashana Lynch gives the movie a ton of heart as Maria. It's interesting that the best scenes in the film revolve around the two old friends. And since much of this takes place a couple of decades ago, there are a number of cool sequences spread throughout, and this includes a clever throwback to the 90s in an old blockbuster video store. And then... There is a one on-screen relationship that actually rivals Maria and Carol. Let's just say that every single moment that Samuel L. Jackson spends with Goose the Cat, well, it's pretty appealing. And that feline pretty much steals every single scene he's in. Ultimately, Captain Marvel continues to open up the franchise with a few new characters to add to the universe, and Brie Larson gives yet another solid performance as a hero unsure of her own strength. As well, the girl power element will likely appeal to a whole new group of fans as Wonder Woman did for DC. And then there is a cat who I hope becomes a regular in the MCU. And while you can certainly appreciate the heart that Fleck and Bowden give it, the film occasionally suffers from an uneven and challenging first act. 
While the action is certainly enticing, only a couple of the massive set pieces really stand out in my memory. The chase on the train was an enjoyable mix of big screen thrills and humor and perhaps one of the best moments in the film. Now it may not be the best in the series, especially with a clumsy and sometimes frustratingly dull first act, but this story definitely offers up a few worthy moments and a couple of cool characters to add into the mix. And for those longing for the 90s, the music and the nostalgia for another period in time add yet another level to the film. A soundtrack is absolutely terrific, and for those wondering, the opening dedication to Stan Lee in the Marvel logo will bring tears to your eyes. Legit bring tissue. Captain Marvel may not be the most thrilling adventure in the MCU filmography, but it's likely to please a ton of fans looking for a little bit of empowerment and inspiration. I'm giving Captain Marvel a 7 out of 10. Thanks for listening and click on the box to check out all our other reviews. So, scrolls are the bad guys. And you're a Kree, a race of noble warriors. Heroes, noble warrior heroes. Your life began the day it nearly ended. We found you. With no memory, we made you one of us. So you could live longer, stronger, superior. You were reborn. I keep having these memories. Something in my past is the key to all of this. You know how to fly this thing? We'll see. That's a yes or no question. Yes. Would you like to know what you really are? I think I had a life here. What aren't you telling me? You've come a long way. But you're not as strong as you think. This war is just the beginning. I'm not gonna fight your war. I'm gonna end it. Aren't you cute? And what's your name, huh? Curious. What's you? I'll be back.